I have played paddle in one of the richest countries on earth. I also have been to the most luxury paddle tournament in the world. And I have visited one of the best paddle clubs ever. So how much does it cost to play paddle in Qatar? Who really plays paddle there? Hello players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. Qatar is without a doubt one of the most interesting countries in the world. 8 out of 10 people living in Qatar are foreigners. And the average annual salary is more than 100,000 euros per year. But let's focus on paddle. The 2021 World Paddle Championship was held in Qatar and that event was the beginning of something that would change the history of paddle. Nasser Al Khelaifi, president of Paris Saint Germain and Qatar Sports Investment knew firsthand the situation of professional paddle. After the World Paddle Championship, QSI and the FIP reached an agreement to create Premier Paddle. And the first Premier Paddle event was held in Doha in 2022. And just a couple of weeks ago, I was able to be in the third edition. And without a doubt, one of the best paddle tournaments of the year. 14 mejor set paddle courts in total, more than 4,000 spectators on the day of the final, iPhones were given away at the end of the matches, crazy. But all this, a few years ago, was impossible because paddle didn't leave Spain or Argentina. But Hernán Auguste was one of the key people who changed this situation thanks also to Mejor Set. I was before working for a lot of years in the expansion of the tour when I was working in World Paddle Tour. Then I, 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 you know, I turned to work to another company, it's a private equity from Sweden, that they bought a lot of companies. And one of those companies that they have been working really, really, really hard here since 2017 is Mejor Set Paddle Kurz. Uh, I'm really you know, focused in that company, one of the companies that we bought. And I'm, you know, the guy who is doing the international expansion of the company. The clubs here are, are, are beautiful. You know, I have been in, you know, a lot of clubs here. I was playing in some of them. You know, you can see the clubs of Padelin. You know, they, they have indoor because that's why it's Padelin because everything is indoor. And here during summer it's really hot, so it's, it's good that they have indoor clubs. And well, I mean, I was in, in Padelin and it's amazing. You know, they have some facilities that they are really, really nice. Mejor Set has been here with Padelin since uh, 2017, uh, you know, building and installing a lot of courts for their clubs and also for private people, you know, for houses. So here you can, you know, imagine that could be around 150 courts for, for clubs and another 100 cool for private, so it's a place that is a small country but it's with a lot of cools. With Hernán's recommendation, it was clear to me that I couldn't just go to Premier Padel Qatar Major, so I had to go to the best padel club in Qatar. There I met Khaled Sadun, one of its founders. We had the first course in Qatar in 2017. 2017. And uh, was brought and built by uh, two guys, my brother Aziz and his partner uh, Chavi. And they made the course basically for them to, to, play. to play because uh, they played uh, a, a year before in Dubai and they liked this course. No one knew how good it would be in terms of business. We didn't know whether uh, people would love the sport or not, especially in Qatar because I know you've been around, you've seen all the Qatari wearing the top, the, the thing on top, and uh, they like to be neat. Qatar is most of the time are a bit lazy, they don't like to practice a lot, etc. And uh, yeah, in, in, in general, like uh, the attention from people wa was uh, surprising, to be honest. How is Padel in Qatar? I mean, how it evolves during the years? Where is it now? Is it still increasing? Is it declining? Well, as, as most of the markets uh, in the recent years, like you see a huge uh, increase in the business and the demand and the uh, number of players. It might decrease a bit since maybe last year, but now we're, we're, uh, we're like moving in a steady pace. The sport is evolving, like uh, we're doing tournaments every month, at least once every month, and uh, the number of participants on average are 500 participants. People are improving because they love to have lessons and they love to compete against, against each other. How is the level of professional players here in Qatar? Because you are one of the best. Can you compete at the highest level? None of us are uh, professional. Mainly because we all have like day jobs. We have uh, our families, uh, social commitments, etc. So 
the level is, is, is doing very, very well. Like uh, people are, are taking it very serious. Myself, my, uh, my uh, companions, the national team players, we're taking it very serious. The national team is also improving. So yeah, the, the level is growing. Now, when you say the high level competition, like premier uh, challenger for gold, for the platinum, that's really a different story. We need some, some time. So hopefully after 10 years we can have one Qatari within top 100, top 50. And pay attention because in another video you will see a challenge to Khaled that is one of the best Qatari paddle players so subscribe to the channel. But I had to know the vision of the person who is day by day in the club and tries to raise it to the next level, Mario Lozano. Why are you here in Qatar? I'm the sport director of uh, Padelin, this is the biggest company in the Gulf. Uh, we have uh, three countries, we have uh, Saudi Arabia, we have Kuwait and we have uh, for now Qatar. We are expanding more countries in the future and uh, I take the all the uh, sport direction of these uh, three countries to uh, follow all our coaches in different countries, the same methodology. They like so much, uh, they are always spending on the different uh, professional players, they, they, they have a lot of tennis background, so for this sport for them, uh, even with the, with, the, with the weather condition in this country, because it's so hot. So with this type of uh, facilities, they like a lot to, to stay inside, to practice this sport, because uh, you can socialize with all the people. And all the Qatari people, even Arab people, they like to socialize a lot with, uh, with the different people. So this type of sport, I think, fit perfect uh, with, uh, with their personality. They are really good players, uh, so when, when all my friends are coming to, to visit us, they were surprised about the level of the, of the players, but still they are far, they are far. And how much does it cost to play here or to take a lesson? About one, one lesson in the peak hour, individual class, one to one, is uh, around 400 uh, Real Qatari, is similar than 100 euros. Can you tell me one funny thing that has happened here? For example, I've seen in Dubai people who played in a, uh, play a match, and leave the balls on the court because yeah, this is very normal here. The balls has one match. <laughs> exactly, you know? the people come. Always uh, they they take the a new can. Exactly, balls. a new can of balls, and after the match uh, they let the balls in, so they, instead of the on the court. They say, coach, take the balls for the basket. <laughs> okay, thank you. So. No need to, to renew the balls. Most likely, the 2024 World Padel Championship will be in Qatar, so I will have to come back. Thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next one. Ciao!